Hello and welcome to the Outwardly Experience. In the last video we talked about Vehicle API and in that we created the most basic class that we could have created for any API at all. The most basic things like uh, the name of the vehicle, the rotation, the color, stuff like that. We even made a static function which has an overloading function, an instance of itself but with different parameters. And well, we stopped right there. Now for every class that we that you can create for anything at all, every class is completely incomplete without its constructor. So what we are going to do today, we are going to learn how to create a constructor for basically any class. And a constructor, well, the most good thing or the advantage of a constructor is that, first of all, it has no return type, so you don't have to worry about it. Second, it will be exactly the same as the name of the class. And if you do not provide an access specifier, by default, it becomes private. So for now, I'll keep my constructor private the same name as the class data and now I will pass the parameters that I need according to my function the function that it will call so if I use this one the create vehicle which has uh, the string vehicle name instead of a uh, uint which contains the hash if I use this then I'll use the same exact parameters for my constructor so I just copied from my function and I paste it in my constructor and according to this parameters we're going to create our vehicle and then we are going to assign all the values the initial values for the object attributes uh, I mean object variables so let's so basically what should happen I am saying way too many souls if create vehicle is invoked from anywhere of the script what should happen is we will create an object using any parameter for this case i'll be using this parameter string vehicle name the object is created the vehicle will get, get created and all the values for the vehicle would get stored in the object so let's get straight into it now we have the string name of the vehicle we need the hash key for the vehicle so uint v hash is equals to npi dot util dot get hash key and inside get hash key i'll pass the parameter of the vehicle name which is v name now we have oops capital n now we have our vehicle hash what we need is um what do we need we need to create the vehicle itself so napi dot vehicle dot create vehicle you might be asking me why don't we use this function why are we making our very own vehicle API or vehicle class function? Basically, we're creating a user defined class or function so that we can give more attributes, more properties for it, and we can store it and retrieve it later for saving or loading anything you want. That is why. So create vehicle, we're gonna pass the argument vhash. The next we need is the position. We have the position over here, so position. Then the rotation, well, rotation again, color one, color two. The rest, which is number plate, alpha, locked, engine, dimension, I'm going to leave it as it is. You can extend it however you want when you're doing your own program, your own game mod. You can edit it however you want to, however it suffices your need. Okay, now that we have our vehicle created, we need to store this vehicle inside a variable. So, vehicle v is equals to spelling mistake such a gem again wow oh my god i give up finally now we have most of our data what we're going to do is we're going to assign all of this data into our class member so let me find it what do we need to assign we need to assign vehicle data name position so let's go vehicle data vehicle data dot add no what was vehicle data oh vehicle data is the data type vehicle so we will just assign the current vehicle we just created so vehicle data is equal to vehicle i forgot this this references the current object then this dot name 
is equals to v name this dot what else do we have uh, position rotation color one and color two so position is equals to position I'll use the private variable because if I use the public one it will like again update the position of the vehicle I do not want that right now I have already created the vehicle at that position so instead of setting it the vehicle physically if we use public function and the underscore one is the private one so this only saves a value inside the variable it does not update anything and that is what we need right now the next is rotation is equals to oops rotation oh my god such lovely code wow mind blown what's wrong oh rotation the class variable rotation of, is of type vector 3 and this is a float so if you want to convert float to vector 3 all you have to do is create a new vector 3 and x and y the parameter for vector 3 is x y and z so x and y will be 0 and z will be the position uh, the value for your rotation which is in float data type there we go so now I have converted from float to vector 3 for our rotation. Next we have color 1. So this the color 1 is equal to now we have color 1 in the format uh, data type int. We need to convert this to the data type color. So new color. And inside color I'll just pass the int data type color 1. That is it. And same for color 2. There we have it. Now I need to add my vehicle, the custom class that we created, the object being, um, where is the object? Oh, the object is this itself. So we need to add this inside our list. So all vehicles dot add, and inside add, I'll just pass this so that whatever object that has been created via this constructor, it gets added to our list and the list contains of the data type data, the data being the current class, and the object being, well, this. And that is all. This is how you create a, oh wait, now I need to actually create the object from the function that will be invoking. So inside create vehicle, we will just simply create an object of type data. So data temp is equal to new data, and inside, you can pass these parameters, vname, uh, position, rotation, color1, color2. That is it. So now I have created a function which has of some uh, variables, parameters, sorry. It creates an object with the same parameters. The constructor uses, again, the same parameters and creates the vehicle and saves all of its data, including adding it to the list as well. So this is how you create function, a pre like a custom made class, an API. Now I'll leave this video up until here because this is completely dedicated to overloading and constructors. Oh yes, and one more thing. I like to give my documentation for every function. So this creates a user defined vehicle and saves its attributes in the class. And the all of the parameters, I'll just give a small description, the name of the vehicle and over here position. So the vector three, position of the vehicle, the rotation of the vehicle, the primary color of the vehicle, and the secondary color for the vehicle. This is about it. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to create a DLL file from this, this class. Uh, this project and then use that DLL file and 
in your main game mod, um, use it as an assembly. So you're basically calling from your main game mod, you're adding an assembly of this, this entire class project, which is in the format of .dll. So we'll keep that for a later video. Anyway, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Simon and the RageMP community, basically Mr. Pankers, Simon, Jer. We are creating an open source RageMP sort of a project. So if you're a beginner and if you want to know the ropes about how to do coding, how to do the basic stuff and everything, we will be creating some very basic sort of a script and we will be continuously uploading it in um, organization in GitHub. So if you want to join the Discord server or if you want to go to the GitHub and follow that page, you can just hit me up and I'll give the link. I'll probably set it in the description as well. And yeah, that's about it. Peace.